Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, I am Nick Juan Jordan, the air protagonist, and in this video we are going to be going over a very easy to use AI animation workflow. This workflow will allow you to take the style of any image and transfer it into a video, or you can actually animate the character in that image and replace the, the person in the original video with that character. And so this will be broken up into two different parts. We'll have the basic workflow, which is just the style transfer. It's very easy to do, it doesn't take very long. And then we'll go into the more advanced workflow, which will be actually animating the character inside that image. So let's jump into the basic workflow. The first part of the workflow is you need to find an image. Now you can go to pretty much any AI image generator platform in order to grab whatever image you want. You are just looking for something that matches the style that you're looking for. So I am here on C Arts and I'm going through my favorite images right now. And the one that I wanna use is we will use this one right here. This is an image of Aerith Gainsborough from Final Fantasy VII. And I really like the way this image looks, just the style of the image, and I want to transfer that onto a video. So step one is pretty simple. Just grab any kind of image and you can jump to step two. And next up, you will need an actual video to transfer the style of the image onto. Now you can use uh, videos from just about anywhere. You can use like royalty free videos. You can go to face swapper apps like Hello Face or C Art AI to get some, uh, some social media videos from there. But I am going to grab one of these videos off of Hello Face. You can see I got it loaded up in a um, desktop emulator. And the one that I wanna use, it's one of the most recent ones that I've favorite it. it's going to be all the way down on the bottom so this is the video that i'm going to use uh, this is the one i'm going to transfer the style onto you can see she actually kind of looks like Aerith already she's got the similar hairstyle now i can't just download this video here on hello face what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to swap first before I can download the video. So I added the Aerith Gainsborough image as a swap option. Let me go ahead and do the swap and then download the video. So for the third and final step, we are going to go to LensGo. Once you're on LensGo's homepage, just click on style transfer. And when you're here, what you'll wanna do is you'll want to actually go to your style and select that image. Go ahead and upload it. Um, if I didn't have it uploaded already. You would just click on upload image as style reference and then click on that Aerith Gainsborough image. And then just like that, it will have that image as your style. You can set up the parameters any way you want, but then the final step is to upload the video. And here is the face swapped video uploaded. The video that I downloaded from um, Hello Face. You can see the face has been changed. And once you get to this point, all you have to do is click on generate video. This is a 15 second video, so it takes 90 credits to generate. If you want, you can click on the preview to get a preview to see what that will look like. But I will show you the finished result. And here is the finished video. So you can see it took the style from the image and transferred it on top of the video. And it looks really, really good. Very consistent, especially the character herself, her face and everything doesn't change too much. The clothes do change a little bit, but everything else looks really good. So that is it for the basic tutorial. Very easy to do. All you need is just really lens go. You could do it all in lens go, but Finding sources for the images and the videos is the only thing that really takes time. Once you pop it into LensGo, that is the easiest part. So now let's jump into the advanced tutorial. For the advanced tutorial, you will need one more piece of media that is a background because you will have to erase the background uh, once you generate the raw footage. And since this is for Aerith, I went ahead and jumped into Leonardo AI and just created some flower garden images. So I will be using, I'll use this one. 
I'll use this image as the background for um, for the video and then I will go ahead and show you exactly how you use it. Okay, so for this advanced tutorial, we will be using the same image and the same video and the new background that we just created and we're going to hop into Viggle. Uh, Viggle is a, a uh, Discord style software, so you will need to jump into their Discord to actually use it. Once you're in the Discord, you go to the one of the animates tab and you just backslash and the different commands will pop up. For this one, we will need to use the mix. So you go ahead and you upload your image and there'll be our earth image there. And then you will upload the video. And it's this video here. And then what you'll want to do is choose a background for this, I'm going to go with the green screen background and you can fine tune on or off. You can try out both just to see which one works best. And then you just simply click on enter and that will generate the new video. And here is the finished result. So you can see it animated Aerith just fine. We will need to remove the background, which is why I chose the green screen background. In order to do that, you can actually use pretty much any kind of um, video editing software. I think all of them comes with a type of background remover. I personally use uh, PowerDirector. I've been using it for years is what I use to edit all my videos. So I'm going to jump into PowerDirector. Okay, so I got PowerDirector loaded up and you can see a bunch of old stuff from previous videos that I've done. So I'm going to take the green screen of Aerith and I'm going to put that on the second line right there. And then I'm going to take the background, which I already put in here. I'm going to put that on the top line. And so now with Aerith, what I want to do is I want to double click the video and I'm going to go to chroma key. I'm going to select the green screen and that will automatically get rid of it. You can see there is a, still a little bit of a green background around her. So I'm going to change the color range a little bit. And that got rid of the green outline. Now if I play it, you can see that it looks pretty good. I still need to fix the background. I can, I'm going to need to extend it and actually make it bigger. So let me go ahead and do that right now. I just got to move this over to the edge. And then I need to actually extend the size to fit the full screen. And that is pretty much it. So if I play that, you can see here is our animated image of error. So it's pretty easy to do in order to remove the background. Now all I need to do to is export this and move on to the next step. All right, so we are now back in Lensgo. Uh, here we are for the final step. As you can see, I still have the image of Aerith pulled up in my style transfer tab. So I'm just leave that there. And here is the video that we just created in PowerDirector. Already got that uploaded and I clicked on preview to see what it's going to look like. And here is the preview. So it should look really good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on generate to start the last step. And it looks like the video is finally done. So here is the finished result. And as you can see, here is a fully animated Aerith Gainsborough. She's doing the exact same uh, animation as was in the original video. And it all looks really good, very consistent. There is a little bit of morphing with the clothing and with the background, but the face and the hair looks really, really good. So that is the easiest way that I've been able to find in order to animate uh, pretty much any character from any image. So if you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below and I will send us out with a few more examples just to show you what this thing can do. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.